Hey, good morning, folks. Today is Thursday, March 5th. <laughs> I got it right today. Guys, gave me a little grief yesterday. I made sure I wrote it on the whiteboard this time. Um, again, it's Thursday, March 5th. Uh, welcome to uh, Coffee with the CEO. Um, today's series, we're going to uh, get a little bit more into uh, your marketing plan and uh, specifically one particular element of your marketing plan, um, the online side and blogging and how it helps SEO and other kind of things. First, I want to uh, get to, uh, I have questions come in all the time and comments about the videos, um, so I want to address one of them this morning. But for you guys that, that don't know, um, feel free to contact me. Um, comment on the blog, um, and my personal blog, it's blog.keithparnell.com. Um, or here on the coffeewiththeceo.com um, video blog. Um, feel free to leave a, me leave a message there. You can email me. My contact information is on the blog. Um, you can email one of the marketing guys. Um, uh, the team's full contact information is on our company blog at blog.jacemarketing.com. So feel free to send us any comments and of course you can call us here at the office too at 757-715-4595. Send in your questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that. But I've gotten questions about the coffee mugs back here. and <laughs> why, why I have so many of them sitting back here. Well, these are the broken ones. <laughs> so I use them as props here in, in my office. Um, the handles are broken. These two are, you can see they're uh, the white one, the little ones are uh, Jace mugs. And the one in the back is Jace Stone, our uh, social community. Um, feel free to go in and join at uh, jaystone.com, J-A-S-E-Z-O-N-E, jaystone.com. Um, we have a blast in there. Uh, meet all kind of people from sports guys to, to uh, marketing guys, any type of professional guys, tech guys, um, it, to just regular ordinary people. Um, uh, we have fa all have family in there. Um, so, um, of course, you know, if you're over 13, um, hop in there and, uh, and join the community at jaystone.com. But anyway, and then um, normally I have the iBook up, um, but I was doing some other stuff with with the other uh, Vista machine, so it, it's sitting back here for today. And uh, the keyboard sitting up here, I did have somebody ask me about this old school keyboard, and it's an old school Dell that's hooked up to a um, Linux box that I have sitting up, up here, an Ubuntu Linux box. It's my um, my play machine, my test machine, and. Uh, I guess that's about it back there. Um, there's a printer over on this side. You might see that part of it. But um, and then of course my my BlackBerry, my Pearl is sitting here on its cradle where it syncs up with the uh, my main machine. Okay, enough of uh, office logistics. Um, the main topic I want to talk about this morning, and and I promise I'll make it quick. Um, I, I'm sorry I'm running a little bit late this morning. I had some client stuff going on, so um, I had to get that taken care of. Um, Hopefully you guys understand that. I want to talk to you about blogging. We get questions all the time from clients. Um, should we blog? Um, what's the pros, cons, that kind of thing? Um, it, my question almost always, not always, almost always is yes. Get your word out. And blogging is a platform that allows you personally and you, your company, to show people who you are to get your brand out. I've talked many times in our series um, on Coffee with the CEO about brand and brand awareness. Um, and, and a blog is the best way to get your personality out to for people to see, for people to honestly see who you are. Um, for those that you know can't or don't meet you in person, um, prior to that, it's perfect. It's per it's a perfect way to uh, um, share your experiences about particular topics, um, or to communicate about you know something that you saw in your in your daily life or um, in in a meeting yesterday. It's a perfect way to come back in and share that experience um, with your your viewers, your friends online. Um, SEO, I can't kid you. Um, for both company and uh, personal blogs, it's huge for SEO, for search engine optimization. Um, it, it gets keywords and it gets um, um, your perception of, of or your position on products and, and, and company points of view out onto the web. Um, you send links back and forth to your various blogs and your website properties. 
um, that of course builds strength for uh, the spiders uh, Google and live search and Yahoo search the three main ones um, it's great for SEO um, it's a great place to be able to add um, special valuable content um, maybe um, a, a launch event that your company has coming up um, this is the perfect place to, to announce that kind of thing um, I, I mentioned for a second the spiders the search engine spiders um, they love blogs spiders love blogs they put a lot of weight on blog content because there's an assumption there that blog content is current now I had a conversation a while back uh, with a gentleman at, at our um, Hampton Roads uh, internet marketing and technology meeting um, and he was asking about this kind of thing about um, SEO for blogs and, and that kind of thing so the way I described it to him was search engines put weight on blog content it's quick it, it gets into into um, their their databases very quickly a great example this morning I, I talked to you guys the other day about Google Alerts setting up those alerts for certain um, for certain keyword phrases well one of my blog um, entries that went up this morning at 730 I received a Google alert that it had already been spidered and entered into the the, the Google database and in all of its indices um, around 915 so within two hours the content that was on my blog is already in the Google database and ready for anybody in the world to find it that's how quickly your content from your blogs can get into those search engine databases and you, you, you can't do that with a website um, they don't put that much weight on on content on websites now the, that, that's the good side that's the pro the con to that is um, they are the spiders or the search engines also know that it that it has revolving content so it's quick in quick out now within a few weeks they're going to assume that content's old and they're going to eventually revolve it off out of their their databases and it, 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 I shouldn't say off out of their databases it, it just moves down in priority level so it'll be you know paged on back a little way so it's quick in quick out whereas your website content um, the search engine companies assume that that's more static content and it, once you get it into their into their um, databases the content usually stays there for a good amount of time so I, I've kind of flowed off topic just a little bit but I, I kinda wanted to make a point about how important it is to blog and to get your content out there that it's a good quick way to get content out for the public um, one more thing a very important piece I wanted to bring up um, we talked about before um, bad press um, negative comments out on the internet blogs are the perfect place to manage and handle bad press um, like I was just gave like I just gave the example um, your content gets into the engine search engines quickly off your blog so people see it quickly so this is the perfect place to positively handle and manage this kind of information so blogging almost every situation yes um, the situation where it's not probably not gonna be a good um, time to blog is is maybe um, like a legal website um, or uh, attorneys or where there's some kind of um, some kind of confidentiality issues it's probably not you know uh, a blog is probably not going to fit into your uh, marketing plan but in most cases 95 percent of the time maybe even higher blogging yes get on it well I thank you for joining me today on uh, oops trying to make a mess here on uh, coffee with the CEO Hope you guys have a good day. Come back and join me again tomorrow.